Oh yeah, that's going. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Wow, my voice just cracked there a little bit. Hold on. Let me get this going. Mmm. Someday I'll have an awesome, like, professional level camera thing on rollers. Won't that be great? Then you can see me in Super HD. Uh, all right, today, today we're going into the cage. I'm going, uh, okay, so we accumulated all this trade stock. And the theory was uh, that we would use the like a new stuff uh, in projects or for studio armies. And uh, that all did not pan out. And can I just tell you something? It is, in business, uh, the ratio is eight to one. Uh, you're gonna have, uh, excuse me, seven to one. You're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have to try eight ideas for one to be a good one. And uh, that means a lot of failure. And failure hurts, folks. It's very frustrating. It's, uh, it's, tough, to, uh, it's tough to get past it. So, uh, but you know what? If, you, if you're persistent, you can, you just kind of, you can just get, you, you just get used to it. I think it's like getting into a pool. Like at first, like, oh, that water's cold. Ja! And that, and that, uh, that, uh, the, the surface of the water, that's where it's like icy cold on your body as you're getting it. And uh, uh, by the way, that is how I look when I get into a pool. <laughs> yeah, and I make a big production about it. Uh, okay, so, uh, but then once you're in, oh, now you're kind of comfortable. Now you're swimming around. Now you're golden. You're good. You're, no, I'm good. The water's fine. Come on in. That's what business is like because uh, that surface part, that's failure. That is the is the icy cold clutches of something not working out like you had hoped. And they're, all right, you get upset. And the other trick is to keep, keep your mental state going positive. Constant. You can't go back and forth between, oh, it's all this is gonna be miserable, oh, it's not a thing. Because you think you're doing that in secret. Maybe you're, um, you know, it's just a, a, a wife or a friend or something, you blah. Oh, it's, uh, nothing ever works. Blah. Well, guess what? It ain't secret because the whole battle is happening right here inside your own brain. And that's the trick is to stay up. Stay up even in the face of failure and give it another go. So anyway, oh, wow. Hmm. Um, let's look at the cage. So, uh, by the way, uh, Robbie has put up, what, a thousand listings now? Yeah, about that. Yeah, right? We're coming up on a thousand listings, right? And uh, yeah, the average value is probably 30 or $40. So you can do the math on that one. He's put up, this guy's put up a lot of stuff. And we've sold a lot too. I go back on the, you can't see Robbie, but he's, he's over there. He's over there. You can, you can feel the waves of Robbie love coming into <laughs> the picture. It's, um, what was I gonna say? It was, oh, a lot of them have sold. Like if you look in the older things, like half of them are gone, at least. Mm -hmm. You know, we get about a 10% sell through, through per week. So that makes me happy. So we're getting in new things. And folks, we really are trying our best to make the program run smoothly. Um, and, I, and I have to confess a bit of a downside here is that if you use your credit to get new stuff, we have to kind of piggyback that on our existing orders. So we don't just, it's not gonna be there in two days. It's, it's, uh, it's gonna be weeks. So, but uh, hopefully much quicker than it would be to actually sell your army and then go get what you wanted. All right, anyway, let us continue. So what do we got in here? We have Bretonians, just bags, giant bags of Bretonians. There's a bunch of horses. I'm sure there's knights in here somewhere. Don't worry, Robbie sorts it all out. Oh, here's Bowman, a giant bag of Bowman there. So like, and you'd be surprised how much is in one of these little uh, boxes here, a Bretonian Pegasus. Whew. Ooh, this is like one of my old uh, Christmases or whatever. Look at all this Kings of War stuff. It's uh, dwarfs, tons and tons of uh, Kings of War Dwarfs, right? Oh, here's the treasure. I've been kind of hoping Robbie wouldn't notice this so we wouldn't have to sell it. But uh, this, oh man, this is like a cement bag full of confrontation stuff. Oh yeah, and these are treasures. There is a lot of, is that, 
Oh, Miss Sarah Cord. Look at that. See, you just wish for it and it happens. Yeah, somebody was looking for this, by the way. You should contact me because I said it, what, I wasn't going to split up another lot. But there it is. Look at that. Look at this. Bunch of wolfen just in a bag. That's like two pounds of pewter right there. These guys here, Sentinels of Donakil. And I don't know if these are complete, by the way. Uh, there's a couple sealed in there. But it's not. Oh, wow, that is so flipping heavy. Ooh, what's in here? Nothing. All right. Um, so, uh, yeah, here you go. Here's like Lehman Russ or something like that. Hey, how's it going, Jordan? Excellent. There it is. You know you love it. Okay. Here's uh, Tomb Kings. Look at that. And tons of them, too. So, like, any one of these is like a treasure trove. But, like, there's at least a hundred more listings in here. Look at this. Just like, oh, look, oh, it's just a box. Oh, no, it's full of Forge World stuff. Blam. This is like Grey Knights upgrades in here. Oh, here's for a Land Raider, right? And uh, here's those things. So, uh, Robbie's working hard to get this stuff up. Look at this. Copies of Dreadfleet. Silly, silly shit game. Why you make this Games Workshop? Why couldn't you make something else? Something that we want. But uh, they, are, they, they, they do need to put the games in Games Workshop, right? So uh, here you go. Oh, here's more confrontation. Look at that. Whole huge thing just full of blisters. Can you see that? And these things are cool. Like just for conversions and stuff. Great goblins. Here's a Celt warrior. Yeah, you just can't find these anymore. God, these are we should we need to put these up individually, Robbie. The confrontation stuff, because those are those are awesome. Our baseline is our baseline. Our baseline, delicious. That's kind of like the base lemon. Uh, is oh look at these minotaurs. Our baseline is half off, but ah, not always. Sometimes it's higher for some reason. And, and there is a reason <laughs> for some reason that I don't know. It's uh, and then sometimes it's lower too. So we're reasonable. We know how to properly assess things. Obviously, we're doing okay. So minotaurs, so you can get brand new kits sometimes. Minotaurs are awesome. Um, let's see what else. Ah, look at this. Here's a whole giant bin. Bin o miscellaneous, right? Look at all that. How fun. I love this stuff. I really can't get enough. And uh, yeah, we, we've got a ton of stuff. There's at least, I'd say, 600 listings active right now. So uh, it's, it's all very exciting. That's what's going on in trade stock. I would encourage you to go and check it out. Go per use. And uh, there's nothing wrong with emailing me and saying, hey, I would offer you this amount. And, but do give me a time limit. Uh, because I might just totally forget about it. So if the time limit expires, then we know, yeah, the deal's off. So, uh, so there's that. All right, well, um, I'd say hope you enjoyed, but um, I wouldn't count on that. <laughs>